सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्तिभेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तिहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहना सहन वनक्तु सह वीर गर्वाह तेजस्वीतमस्तमा विदुषा वह ओं शांत शांत शांति यो ब्रह्मांड विधा गुण वेदा च प्रणुति तस्म तुम हृदय आत्मबुद्धि प्रकाश मुक्षुर्वैशरम प्रपद्य ओं शांत शांत शांति अहमनायांत्रिकसंसिम आदिमध्यार्जित आनंदघन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे सो कारण चाकाशादिषु यथाव्यपदिष्टोक्ति एस टॉट इन दि श्रुति इन ऑल श्रुतिज वेदांत विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू आकाश वॉट इज ए कारण ब्रह्म इट से ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मण कारण आकाशादिषु यथाव्यपदिष्टोक्ति दट इज सूत्र वी लुक दैट इन दास्ट पाठ दि नेक्स्ट अधिकरण इज बालाक्यधिकरण देर इज दिस बालाकी इन दि उपनिषद हू इज अ यंग बॉय एंड ही visits a king called ajata shastru so that adhikarana begins now it is introduced by saying nanu kwachit asataha kwachit sataha utpatti shravanat virodha iti aashankya ah puro pakshi says your karana of vedantins mean your mini वेदांतिज कारण एट्रिब्यूटेड टू ईश्वरा इज इन एप्रोप्रिएट वाई बिकॉज नॉट ओनली आकाश इज मेन्शनड एज कारण प्राण एज कारण एंड सो ऑन बट समाइम्स यू सी सत एज कारण एंड असत एज कारण सो सो मच ऑफ कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन हाउ डू यू क्लेम समन्वय इन ब्रह्म हाउ डू यू सी दैट ब्रह्म इज जगत कारण वेन यू हैव सो मेनी कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी स्टेटमेंट्स spread across upanishads if you cannot see the contradiction in akasha as karana prana as karana then at least you should see a direct contradiction as sat being karana and asat being karana i'll show you these mantras so asataha utpatti sataha utpatti both are mentioned sat and asat are exactly opposite because there is a nanj there na sat asat so from sat is there utpatti or from asat is there utpatti there is no conclusive evidence to brahma being jagat karana says the puro pakshi so kwachit asataha utpatti shravanat kwachit sataha utpatti shravanat pratyaksha viroda there is a viroda sometimes there is Uh, not sometimes somewhere sometime or somewhere both are okay kwa is saptami arthe so it can be kala saptami also it can be desha saptami also but here we are looking at in some places in shruti it can be adhikarana saptami also so in some shruti vakyas that's one possibility at some places is another possibility so however you see in shruti you see mantras which are contradictory to each other when it comes to karanatvam of something or uh, karanatva uh, karana of jagat not karanatva when you see karana of jagat there is contradiction sometimes sat is mentioned as karana sometimes asat therefore what virodha iti ashankya samakarshat samakarshat so the sutra se samakarshat there is no such you know there is no such contradiction there is no virodha at all he says 
इफ यू लुक एट दी तात्पर्य देर देन देर इज नो अवकाश देर इज नो अवकाश फॉर विरोध एट ऑल इफ यू लुक एट दी तात्पर्य विषय देर सो देर इज सम्यक आकर्षण ओनली ऑफ दी कारण ब्रह्म हरियली सो सतलोन इफ यू लुक एट सम्यक आकर्षण इज इन सतलोन नॉट इन असत सो दैट इज सूत्रार्थ समाकर्षा सम्यक आकर्षा वेर इज दी वेर इज दी श्रुति पॉइंटिंग इट इज पॉइंटिंग टू सत इवन वेन इट से असत हाउ सो विल शो यू से सिद्धांति तो पूर्व पक्षी से असदेव इदमग्र आसी मंत्र देर इज अ मंत्र एट असद एव इदमग्र आसीत ऑल दिस वॉज असद बिफोर एलसेर वॉट सदेव इदम अग्र आसी सो ऑल दिस वॉज सत बिफोर दैट इज वन मंत्र मीनिंग ऑल दिस प्रपंच वॉज सत बिफोर बिफोर दी बिफोर मीन्स वॉट सृष्टे है प्राक बिफोर दी सृष्टि द एंटायर प्रपंच वॉज सत बट एलसेर इट इज सेट असद एव इदम अग्र आसी ऑल दिस वॉज असत earlier so how do you interpret this how do you resolve this contradiction if you say it is apparent then you have to resolve it how do you resolve it ask the purva pakshi the siddhant this is asadeva idam agra asit iti anabhivyakta nama roopa vachina asat shabdena sata eva samakarshat samyak akarsha so what is basically meant by asad there if you look at it then Asat is what nunj all right, but all nunj is not abhava or virodha or anything like that. Asat can also be sad bhinnam asat. There are various meanings available for there are various meanings available for nunj. So na sat asat when you say what is that na? What is what what is not sat is asat. so sadbhinna is also a possibility and sadbhinna does not means abhava of sat so what is sadbhinna there that sadbhinnatvam also can mean uh, that is one possibility meaning that is the third possibility say abhavarte nanj virodharte nanj then there is what what is sadbhinna bhinnarthe these are the common meanings that you know so it is not only abhava or virodha there is also bhinnatvam but there is also proximity similar to sat so one one which is close to sat but not sat that is also possible and when you say that something which is near to sat as similar to sat it can also mean mean that it it is like sat need not me completely different but it is like sat so so many nanj meanings are possible abrahmanam anaya so there what is that ab nanj in abrahmana not a brahmana but one who is close to brahmana you cannot bring uh, a goat and say that okay this is goat is also abrahmana so will will you say that uh, goat is what is meant in the vivaksha when you say bring an bring a abrahmana so there you have to bring a manushya now this manushya is what that manushya who belongs to varnashrama dharma and who may not be a brahmana but who should be close to a brahmana you cannot bring a shudra or a vaishya there you can bring a kshatriya that is the meaning there of abrahmana manaya if you get a brahmana bring a brahmana but if brahmana is not available then bring someone close to brahmana this is the idea in that statement this is how you see nanj explained in uh, vyakarana shastra therefore just give me a moment some error <coughs>
so there is um, there is a possibility that asat can mean something close to sat it need not mean opposed to sat or different from sat or absence of sat that is not the meaning of asat there so what is the meaning here asadeva idam grasit iti anabhivyakta nama roopa vachina asat shabdena sat eva samakarshat samyak akarshat samyak akarshanat akarshana is what attracting what is the meaning which is attracting is a literal meaning so what is the meaning that should be drawn so you can take samakarshat means due to sat meaning of sat itself being drawn from the word asat now there are many so called uh, you know analysts who say that earlier in the they you know chart these kalas of upanishad etc so i have heard this i have heard this from a well educated person who said that somebody opines that um, asat meant sat itself in the earlier kala wherever this asadeva idam agrasit mantra is there was some particular vaidika kala in, in division of the first vaidika kala itself is wrong then division in the vaidika kala of rigvedika kala etc rigveda is the oldest or some nonsense like that so all that analysis is bogus so when they say asat shabda meant sat earlier during that kala that is all wrong they have no samskara they have no samskara of mimamsa at all there is no training in mimamsa not every tom dick and harry can just pick up a book and say that i know sanskrit or i know i know how to look up a dictionary and therefore i'll understand the meaning just like every modern field should be learned from the teachers of trained teachers of that very field then only it has value similarly vedanta also should be studied from the sampradaya so what is asat there when you say asat is what asat is not sat meaning what it is nama roopa sat is not nama roopa so sat bhinna meaning if you take for asat yes it is sat bhinna meaning what is that that is nama roopa nama roopa is different from sat now this nama roopa is abhivyakta manifest anabhivyakta is non manifest nama roopa when you say the karya can also stand for karana karana can also for stand for karya you have seen earlier lakshana has to be used to resolve the contradiction there can be no possibility of utpatti from asat the way puropakshi understands asat and he is also an astika he is not an astika he is astika so if he says that your conclusion is wrong we can say yes at some point of time we can agree let's say our conclusion may be wrong but shruti cannot be wrong if the shruti has made a statement asadeva idam agrasi and therefore asat is karana and asat is understood as puropakshi understands then shruti will be wrong why because shruti will have said sat is the karana asat is karana there would be contradiction which is real virodha that is not the case there cannot be any shraddha in the shruti further the puro pakshi will no longer be an astika he will be an astika anastika or he will be an astika he will not be astika the reason i am saying this again is because in english when you say an astika then it will sound like nastika so he i'll not use the the word and there so he is no longer astika he is nastika if at all he makes such aropa and stands by it he can make just aropa you know just to refute the puro pakshi but not meaning it for him for the puro pakshi the siddhanti is the puro pakshi so he can make an aropa on vedanti without really meaning it his tatpare is not that to point that but the implication will be that therefore asat has to be understood in such a manner that there is no contradiction with any shruti 
बिकॉज असदेव इदमग्र आसित इज ऑल्सो श्रुति नाउ हाउ डू यू री इंटरप्रिट इट हाउ डू यू अंडरस्टैंड इट नॉट री इंटरप्रिट हाउ डू यू री इंटरप्रिट वॉट हैज बीन इंटरप्रिटेड बाय दी पूर्व पक्षी द मीनिंग ऑफ असत हाउ डू यू री इंटरप्रिट इट यू विल से दैट असत मीन्स सद्भिन्न नाम रूप एंड दैट नाम रूप इज ऑलवेज ऑब्जेक्टिफाइबल अभिव्यक्त इट इज मैनिफेस्ट मैनिफेस्ट नाम रूप बट बिफोर मैनिफेस्टेशन वॉट वॉज इट इट वॉज इन अनमेनिफेस्टेड वी आर सत्कार्यवादी वी डू नॉट से दैट नाम एंड रूप मीनिंग कार्य द प्रपंच एज कार्य comes out of nothing it is not freshly created it is not something new which wasn't existent earlier so what was existent earlier in bija roopa is manifest now in an unfolded manner what was folded into a seed is unfolded as a sapling as a plant as a tree therefore this samsara prapancha which opens up during srishti was always there in the bija avastha so this nama roopa which is sadbhinna now was manifest during srishti but before srishti it was in unmanifest form so nama roopa was there but what was it it was unmanifest so when sadbhinna nama roopa in srishti sarjana avastha in srishti avastha sthiti avastha is sadbhinna then what would be unmanifest nama roopa it won't be sadbhinna it will be one with sat so when you say asadeva idamagra asit meaning this nama roopa which is different from sat now before creation was unmanifest then it means what it was sat so asadeva idamagra asit will be shown as equal to sadeva idamagra asit that is the beauty of mimamsa that from the unmanifest you get the same meaning as sat but manifest is different from sat because the creation is all as though there is only vivarta of brahma vivarta of sad brahma and it appears as asat meaning mithya and what is this bhinnatvam more bhinnatvam really it appears bhinna but it is what so in vyakarana we will say sad bhinna but what is it really in vedanta we say we will say it is sada sad bhinna bhinna it is you cannot say bhinna bhinna na bhinna bhinna it is neither sad bhinna nor asad bhinna nor sada bhinna nor asada bhinna you cannot say that it is same as sat or different from sat you cannot say it is uh, same as asat or different from asat and what is that asat there that asat is abhava sada bhava completely non existent like shasha shringa here asat does not mean shasha shringa but asat so what it means it is that that now it is mithya because it is manifest as nama roopa but earlier it was unmanifest and it is nothing but sat therefore sad akarshana itself is there with asat shabda this asat shabda is drawing the meaning of sat out of it although it appears contradictory it is not because it is all the way you do the mimamsa in english or in other languages also there are many words which stand for opposite also so here you have to understand how it lands on the meaning of sat so asadeva idamagra asit iti anabhivakta nama roopa vachina through this anabhivakta unmanifest nama roopa the word standing for asat stands for what unmanifest nama roopa and thereby it will lead to sat shabda so asat shabdena asat shabdena tritiya and nama roopa vachina is also tritiya so anabhivakta nama roopa vachina asat shabdena so this nama roopa now manifest is actually was asat means what it was unmanifest earlier so anavyakta nama roopa vachina asat shabdena in samana rikarane asat shabda is qualified by what anavyakta nama roopa it stands for anavyakta nama roopa and thereby sata eva samakarsha tena kasya samakarshanam bhavati sata eva samakarshanam bhavati sat shabda seva samakarshanam bhavati 
देर फोर न असत कारण शंकावकाश देर फोर देर के नॉट बी एनी पॉसिबिलिटी ऑलसो ऑफ अ डाउट दैट देर इज कारण ऑफ असत दैट असत हैज कारण दैट कैंड ऑफ अ डाउट शुड नॉट बी एंटरटेन्ड एट ऑल देर इज नो सच पॉसिबिलिटी एट ऑल बिकॉज अदरवाइज यू विल नॉट बी आस्थिक अतः जगत कारण वादी वाक्य समन्वय ब्रह्मणी एव इति सिद्धम एंड व्हेन यू से असत इज व्हाट अनभिव्यक्त नाम रूप देन इट इज नथिंग बट सद्ब्रह्म एंड देर फोर देर इज जगत कारण समन्वय इन ब्रह्म इति सिद्धम दिस इज एस्टाब्लिश इवन विथ यू पूर्व पक्षी ट्राइंग टू हाईजैक दि कॉन्वर्सेशन इन टू सम कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन विच इज इन डेर इन श्रुति एट ऑल देर इज नो contradiction at all in shruti if at all it is apparent then the dosha is in the perceiver in the analyzer who fall shorts uh, who falls short of the qualification in analysis in mimamsa but it is not the flaw at all na dosha there is no possibility of dosha in shruti uh, sorry i uh, jump the gun so the, uh, this is karanatva adhikara um, The balakya adhikarana, balakya adhikarana follows now. So I said that the next adhikarana comes up, but then this was the last sutra in the karanatva adhikarana, which we saw as karanatvena cha akash akasha dishu vyapadish yatha vyapadish tokte then samakarsha. So two sutras are there in the this karanatva adhikarana. Now the balakya adhikarana starts up. So since the page was open, I looked up at Balakya Dikaran, which is coming up. It is introduced by saying, "Purvam ekavakya sa satchabda balad, asatchabda ha nita ha." Actually, the next mantra itself says, "Sadeva idam agrasit." There will also be such mantra in that section. So, "Purvam ekavakya sa asatchabda balad." उपनिषद इट इज क्वेश्चन हाउ कैन देर बी उत्पत्ति फ्रॉम असत सम पीपल से सम पीपल से दैट देर इज उत्पत्ति फ्रॉम सत and if you take the such a meaning shabda bodha itself won't take place because asat if you mean sashashanga vrat but then there is no possibility of understanding because asat should have some kind of a some kind of an example possible that example is not possible you cannot have sashashanga sashashanga is a word but sashashanga padartha does not exist therefore there is no possibility of understanding taking place there what is done is that the nanj of a asat o has to be taken away and vakya to the vakya the nanj is added that is the bhashya in chandokya upanishad so this uh, asatah when here we looked at what asatah uh, asadeva idam agrasit there this this vakya is in taitri upanishad so in taitri upanishad this asat is mentioned as anavyakta nama roopa from anavyakta nama roopa abhivyakta nama roopa srishti takes place so anavyakta nama roopa is sat that is how taitri upanishad explains it but in chandogya there is a this asat as the karana is taken as purva paksha it says that and immediately refutes it now here in taitri upanishad also what do you have tasmat va etasmat atmanah which is atma is sat there from that akasha utpatti ityadi akashaadi utpatti is mentioned therefore this sat shabda is also there so asat and sat are contradictory how do you resolve the contradiction sat is sat brahma and asat is अनव्यक्त नाम रूप सद्ब्रह्म सो देर फोर पूर्व एक सच्छब्द बला सच्छब्द इज ऑलो देर इन दि सें वाक्य असत्शब्द नीत असत्शब्द कुत्र नीत इन वॉट मीनिंग 
कस्मिन विषय नीत कस्मिन पदार्थे नीत सत्पदार्थे हौ थ्रू दी अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट असत इज अनभिव्यक्त नाम रूप इह तो वाक्य भेदा ब्रह्मते ब्रवाणी इति बालाकी वाक्यस्थ ब्रह्म शब्देन प्राणादि शब्दो ब्रह्म परत्वेन नेतुम अशक्य प्रत्युदाहरण संगत्याय दमाह पूर्वपक्षी से यू हैड दि अपॉर्चुनिटी टू री इंटरप्रिट असट शब्द बिकॉज सट शब्द इज देर इन सेम वाक्य एल्स वेर हाउ एवर इट वॉज बट यू हैड दि अपॉर्चुनिटी in that section to show asat means sat alone because sat word also has been used now in the kaushateki brahmana there is this balaki who is a young boy who visits the king ajata shatru and what does he say he goes to the king and says he is a very young boy he is a kid he says in brahad upanishad he says he says to the kashi raja ajata shatru is a kashi raja he says hey rajan i want to teach you brahma can i teach you brahma so may i teach you brahma or shall i teach you brahma this is kind of a uh, pratigya he makes so listening to this ajata shatru is very happy he says i mean look at this boy young boy who comes to the king he is a brahmana young brahmana watu he comes to the king and says i'll teach you so he, he is happy for multiple reasons looking at the young boy first the young watu and then also because he did not go to janaka raja because everywhere you see janaka everyone approaches janaka raja he is happy that this brahmana did not go to janaka but he came to me so as it is first of all wonderful words you cannot have anything more auspicious because he is going to teach something for which people take janma after janma and this boy is claiming that he'll teach he is offering to be the teacher and further what he has come to someone who is not as famous as janaka then every so he says that everyone goes to janaka but you came to me for this itself he says i'll give you 1000 cows so he gives away thousand cows in dana to the brahmana watu only because he came to him and made such an offer whether or not he teaches is a different story there itself he made this dana now brahmate bravani te te tubhyam to you may i teach brahma shall i teach brahma says the watu to the king so eha tu vakya bheda now there is vakya bheda what is vakya bheda multiple meanings of a single vakya is a vakya bheda it is a dosha in mimamsa so iti balaki vakyasya brahma shabdena balaki is saying that that what who is called as balaki he is using the word brahma tubhyam brahma bravani so vakyastha brahma shabda he is vakya has the brahma shabda and there is pranaadi shabda also later that pranaadi shabda brahma paratvena netum ashakya and then the teaching is of prana when he says i'll teach brahma but then there is prana teaching so this prana if you reinterpret prana as brahma brahma paratvena netum ashakya therefore there is vakya bheda otherwise you know that uh, vakya bheda as per the puro pakshi there is vakya bheda there is no vakya bheda there but then puro pakshi is saying that prana is brahma you are saying and then this brahma is already there in the statement that he made so there will be vakya bheda therefore brahma cannot be the meaning of prana shabda pranaadi shabda there are multiple words used there so netum ashakya you cannot reinterpret in such a manner इति प्रत्युदाहरण संगत्याय दिस इज अ काउंटर एग्जांपल टू दी अर्लियर अधिकरण वाक्य विषय विषय वाक्य देर बाय बालाक्य अधिकरण इज इंट्रोड्यूस विद दी फर्स्ट सूत्र जगद्वाचित्वात जगद्वाचित्वात सो ही सेज व्हाट इज दी देर इज अ समन्वय 
पूर्व पक्षी से देर नो समन्वय इन ब्रह्म इसे जाल शो यू देर इज अ स्टेटमेंट विच स्टैंड फॉर जगत दी वाक्य दैट यू आर कोटिंग यू आर लुकिंग इन टू दैट सेक्शन ऑफ बृहद कौशित की ब्राह्मण देर इन दी ब्राह्मण देर सेक्शन देर वॉट यू आर लुकिंग एट देर द वर्ड दैट हेज बीन यूज मीनिंग वी लुक एट दी मंत्र अदरवाइज इट विल नॉट बी क्लियर सो वॉट इज वॉट इज दी सूत्र मीनिंग जगत वाचित कस्य जगत वाचित सो इस देर कौशित की ब्राह्मण श्रूयते यो वही बालाक पुरुषाण कर्ता ये वही तत्कर्म स वही वेदित सो द टीचिंग पूर्व पक्षी सेंग दर टीचिंग इज ऑफ प्राण दैट प्राण इज नॉट ब्रह्म बट वॉट इज दिद्धांति से जगत वाचित कस्य शेयर दिस कर्म दिस कर्म वर्ड विच इज मेन्शन हियर दिस कर्म स्टैंड फॉर कार्य इट डज नॉट स्टैंड फॉर क्रिया सीधे लक्षण ऑफ द पूर्व पक्षी फॉर कर्म इज चलनात्मक कर्म चलनात्मक कर्म चलनात्मक वेर एवर देर इज दिस कर्म इज वॉट कर्म इज वेर एवर देर इज मूवमेंट दैट इज कर्म दिस लक्षण डेफिनेशन ऑफ कर्म एज पर सम दार्शनिकास बट वेदांति से इज नो देर इज नथिंग कॉल्ड एज चलनात्मक कर्म कर्म इज वॉट इट्स इट्स अ क्रिया सॉरी इट्स नॉट अ क्रिया हियर इट इज कार्य इट इज कार्य सो वी डोंट एग्री विथ चलनात्मक कर्म इट इज वॉट क्रियते कर्म इट इज कर्मणी उत्पत्ति सो चलनात्मक कर्म लक्षण इज रिफ्यूटेड बाय रिप्लेसिंग इट विथ वॉट क्रियते कर्म एंड क्रियते कर्म मीन्स कर्मणी उत्पत्ति देर फोर विषय और द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ समथिंग of kru dhatu object of kru dhatu to do so what that which is done meaning it is karya so karma means karya and what is karya karya is jagat so karma karma shabdasya karma ha or karma shabdasya jagat vachitvat therefore what it will not mean prana there is no prana because chalanatmaka karma if karma means chalanatmaka meaning chal, chalana swarupa which is in swarupa movement then it will mean kriya so the पूर्व पक्षी से कर्म वर्ड्स देर स्टैंड फॉर क्रिया वी आर से कर्म वर्ड्स स्टैंड फॉर कर्म इट्स विषय इट स्टैंड फॉर कार्य एंड देर फोर इफ दि पूर्व पक्षी से दैट कर्म ही मिस इंटरप्रिट्स द वर्ड कर्म एज चलनात्मक एज क्रिया देन इट विल मीन दैट विच विच इज इज क्रिया इज वॉट प्राण इज क्रिया प्राण इज चलनात्मक प्राण इज मूविंग देर फोर प्राण इज मेट देर and what is said there is that savai veditavya that prana which causes all movement that should be known this is the purva pakshi's interpretation and savai veditavya kaha veditavya tatra veditavya karta kim prana who is this chalanatmak kriyaha kriyayaha karta sa veditavya yasya va etat karma yasya va etat so uh, yasya vai or va In this split, it you will get wa, but wa also it, there is sandhi there. But then, if you read it as yasya wa hi etat karma or just see yasya karma, forget the other words. Etat karma kasya bhavati, yasya bhavati sahvedi tavya. So yasya kriya bhavati, yasya chalanatmaka karma meaning what? Yasya chalanatmakam karma bhavati, yasya tadrishi kriya bhavati. सह कर्ता वेदितव्य दिस पूर्व पक्षी पर्स्पेक्टिव सो इस इज दट हूएवर हेज दिस क्रिया ऑफ मूवमेंट ही शुड बी नोन हू हेज दैट क्रिया मूवमेंट क्रिया प्राण मूव सो प्राण हेज दैट क्रिया सो प्राण इज दि चलनात्मक क्रिया कर्म कर्ता सो ही शुड बी नोन दिस इज दि पर्स्पेक्टिव एंड वॉट इज दिद्धांत आंसरिंग नो इट इज जगत कर्ता हू शुड बी नोन बिकॉज जगत इज यस्य कर्म मीन्स यस्य कार्यम भवति व्हाट इज दैट कार एंटायर कार्य दैट इज जगत जगत इज द एंटायर एंटायर जगत इज अ कार्य देर फोर हूज कार्य दिस प्रपंच इज दैट क 
karta should be known so jagat karta should be known that jagat karta does not mean prana there at all it means brahma and pratijna also is brahmate bravani now why this uh, issue has also come up we should know the background there the the young boy balaki keeps on teaching whatever he knows he talks about aditya he talks about prana so all these are there aditya so what has been said by purokshi pranadi shabda pranadi shabda is also there because initially it has gone by balaki starts teaching and when he teaches he talks about aditya devata he talks about prana devata ityadi and the king says oh i know this aditya devata move on tell me something more i already know this then he talks about prana devata the king says ajata shatru says i know prana you teach me something more i know this i know this come to brahma basically i know aditya devata i know prana and when he keeps on saying that finally the king himself says actually there is also uh, we'll see I'll mention at the end of the patha because there may be a little deviation there it is something which should be known in the context but it is not a part of the context it is something which reveals a little more in sampradaya in the guru shishya bhava uh, there is a sampradaya which is revealed in this uh, balaki adhikarana in the, the basically in the uh, in the upanishad there in the uh, in the kaushitaki brahmana it is revealed as to what is the sampradaya so you'll see that anyway so jagat vachitvat means kar- karma iti shabdasya karmana karma shabdasya jagat vachitvat what jagat karanam brahma eva so there is karanatva samanvaya in brahma not in anything else there is no samanvaya siddhi so atra purvapakshe vakyasya pranadi upasana paratvat because it is an upasana kanda says the purva pakshi brahmani samanvaya asiddhi and what is that upasana on upasana is on prana ityadi prana adityadi devatas as taught by the brahmana boy what to balaki 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 or balaki yeah balaki so not balaki balaki सिद्धांते तत्सिद्धिरिति फलवेद वी हैव सीन दिस मल्टीपल टाइम समन्वय सिद्धि इज देयर कौशितकी ब्राह्मणे श्रूयते इन दी ब्राह्मणा सेक्शन ऑफ द बृहद उपनिषद पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन कॉल्ड कौशितकी ब्राह्मणा देयर व्हाट मंत्रा इज हर्ड यो वै बालाक यो वै बालाक इज बालाके बालाकी लाइक हे हरे इज संबोधन हे बालाके इज संबोधन यो वै बालाक एतेशां पुरुषाणां कर्ता यस्य वै एतत् कर्म स वै वेदितव्य वै इंडीड सह वेदितव्य इंडीड और ओनली ही शुड बी नोन यू नीड नॉट नो एवरीथिंग एल्स इफ यू नो द जगत कर्ता द कारण जगत कारण यू हैव नोन एवरीथिंग सो ये बाला के यै एम पुरुषाण कर्ता वन हू इज दर्ता ऑफ ऑल दीज पुरुषा देर इट सेल्फ एवरीथिंग फॉल्स अपार्ट as claimed by purva pakshi because prana is not purusha karta he is not the karta of the sentient beings purusha is uh, even if you take as uh, literally manushya human beings or you take it as uh, upalakshana for jeevas also jeeva karta meaning any prani or any human being or any insect also any any living being basically so purusha nam karta kaha that karta whoever he is yah and whose karma this is yasya or va you can say va also there va yasya va or whose karma this is either you say who is the purusha's karta who who has made purushas or whose pra- creation is this prapancha yasya va etat karma so karma has been said whose karma this is etat karma this karma which karma if you look at purushanam karta so therefore kartrakarma the creating karma that can be one possibility of interpretation therefore purva pakshi asya kriya karma means asya vai etat kriya bhavati sa sah karta vai veditavya this purva pakshi's interpretation iti now tatra veditavya karta kim pranah uta jeevah ahusvit paramatma iti vishe so samshaya is now three fold whether that uh, karta of such karma 
विच कर्म इज पुरुषाण करता सो पुरुषाण इज इग्नोर्ड राइट नाउ वॉट इज लुक दैट इज कर्म हूज कर्म दिस इज दैट करता इज इट प्राण और जीव और परमात्मा वेन सच डाउट इज देर यस्य वै तत् कर्म चलनात्मक कर्मण प्राण से संभव सिंस कर्म मीन चलनात्मक चलन स्वरूप चलन स्वरूप इज देर ओनली फॉर प्राण देर फोर प्राण से संभव देर बाय प्राण अलोन कैन बी दि कर्ता एवं ऐसे प्रज्ञात्म आत्मभिर्भुंगते जीवलिंगा च प्राण जीव इति पूर्व पक्ष सो मेन क्लेम इज प्राण दि अदर क्लेम इज ऑलसो देर इट कैन ऑलसो मीन जीव वी हेव सीन अर्यर एज टू multiple interpretations are possible in upasana also as done by the purva pakshi and we have shown a flaw as vakya bheda there itself so we'll see uh, that in the next sutra also it will uh, will recollect the earlier refutation there so evam eva esha prajnatmai prajnatma etaihi atmabhi bhumbhumte so etaihi atmabhi bhumbhumte प्रज्ञात्मा सो प्रज्ञात्मा वर्ड इज रूढ़ इन जीवा से पूर्व पक्षी सो देर दिस एशा प्रज्ञात्मा इज जीवा आत्म भी एंड आत्म भी शब्द इज ऑल्सो आत्मा इज ऑल्सो रूढ़ इन जीवा देर फॉर इस इज थ्रू दिस जीवा द जीवा द जीवात्मा थ्रू मेनी यू नो मेनी मेनी जीवा बींग Uh, through many jivas or some interpretation like that as to in the form of many jivas the jiva keeps on taking you know multiple janmas also such interpretation is also also possible so through many jiva atma kind of existences who is having bhoga only jiva is having bhoga therefore this jiva as prajna atma is upasya iti jiva linga cha there is a jiva linga also because atma shabda prajna prajna atma here also atma bhi that atma word becomes a linga to interpret the meaning as jiva so jiva linga is there jiva linga cha prana jeevau upasyo the upasana is on prana and jiva as upasya iti purva paksha such is the purva paksha siddhantastu purushanam karta paramatma eva siddhanti points out you are looking at yasya vai tat karma eva meveshu prajnatma etaihi atma bhi bhumte all such but you are missing the main part there to do mimamsa purushanam karta is this jeeva purusha karta has he made this jeevatma himself or has your prana devata made these purushas neither of them have made purushas jeevas have been so to say created manifest only by ishvara ishvara gives a body to any jeeva to become a purusha stri ityadi so tesham sarvesham karta parmatma eva bhavitum arhati there is no other possibility also natu prana ha jeevo va that is the siddhanti the answer he says purushanam karta parmatma eva parmatma eva bhavitum arhati there is no other possibility also you need not even go thus far purushanam karta is a clincher there to land into paramatma therefore samanvaya siddhi in brahma is there kutaha why brahmate bravani iti brahmana eva upakramat in fact your own uh, objection as an introduction to this what we saw as an introduction to this adhikarana or sutra <coughs> says the siddhanti that itself goes against you because in the tatpare linga upakrama upasamhara is one linga In your upakrama itself, you have seen Brahma te Bravani. So the Kashi Raja is answering this. What has happened is that Bala ki was teaching, and Kashi Raja has no patience. He says, "I know this. You move on. I know this. You move on." The kid is going in a sequence, and then the kid says that uh, what the kid says we'll see later. But the Kashi Raja says that makes these statements. So these statements are from Kashi Raja. He says, "Hey Bala ki, uh, hey Bala ke." who should be known you are saying that i'll teach brahma but who should be known is this purusha karta purushanam karta or whose karma is this entire prapancha that should be known and that is brahma so when you say you are teaching so ajata shatru is already a gnani there really ajata shatru himself starts teaching there 
because as soon as uh, uh, the king says ajata shatru says that i know this move on i know this move on then the kid says okay you teach me so he ajata shatru makes the statement so kutaha but ajata shatru is keeping the subject matter same that is why he has lost patience in the slow flow of the teaching he says i know this i know this <coughs> teach me more teach me more teach me about brahma so the brahma is the context which balaki is not landing on so soon therefore brahma te bravani statement made by balaki and the answer which is already known to ajata shatru and he is saying who is that brahma who should be known who is the jagat karta meaning what brahma should be known as purushanam karta and etat karma karta yasya va etat karma means yes uh, jagat karta karma jagat yasya karma etat sarvam jagat bhavati tak jagat karta veditavya that is brahma veditavya means what brahma te bravani te brahma vedi brahma iti veditavya this is the uh, this is the conclusion really upasamhara so what is the upakrama brahma although it is made by balaki the same topic is continued and the king says that oh i know this I, this is brahma this is how brahma should be known so brahmana eva upakramat upasamhara is also brahma so when jagat uh, purushanam karta and jagat karta should be known then it should be so purushanam karta is one then this karma is not kriya chalanatmaka karma and thereby kriya but what is it what is it kriyate iti vyutpatya kriyate iti karma iti vyutpatya karma shabdasya pratyakshad upasthapita jagat vachitvat why pratyakshad upasthapita etat karma has been said etat karma so etat karma means etat is pratyaksha etat shabda is pratyaksha right here very close etat is closer than tat closer than adas so etat is esha esha atma such words have been used similarly idam idam jagat so esha atma when you say it is closer than jagat but when you say etat jagat etat then it is jagat which is pratyaksha siddha so pratyakshaadi upastha pratyaksha anumana ityadi all these pramanas applicable in the case of jagat which is pratyaksha and there onwards all these right in front of you very close it is objectifiable so pratyakshaadi upasthapita jagatva chitvat kasya karma shabdasya karma shabd because karma shabd stands for jagat which is established by pratyakshaadi pramanas and thereby this kriyate iti karma that, that is the vyutpatti by which the karma shabd stands for prapancha karya jagat not kriya not prana therefore the kriya karta chalana kriya karta that you say is prana that is no where in the context it is nowhere in the context it is jagat karta and that jagat karta is not prana it is par- paramatma parabrahma nanu purushanam jagat antarbhavat tat kartrutvam kimiti prithag uchyate iti chet na na means na dosha puro pakshi is now saying that in your analysis you are talking about purushanam karta and jagat karta why will upanishad talk about such separate things two separate things because purusha is part of jagat the purusha that you talk about purushanam karta purushanam karta cannot be jeevatmana karta so it will be what it will be the samsari jeeva karta so samsari jeeva that is being talked about that samsari jeeva is part of samsara संसार अस्य अस्ति इति संसारी जीवा दैट संसार इज पार्ट ऑफ संसार इति द पीपल आर पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्रपंच बिकॉज वी सी द वर्ल्ड ऑफ सेंशिएंट एंड इनसेंशिएंट बीइंग्स सो द वर्ल्ड ऑफ बीइंग्स इंक्लूड्स द सेंशिएंट आल्सो सो व्हाई विल दैट पुरुषा बी मेंशनड एज सेपरेट मीनिंग पुरुषाणाम कर्ता व्हाई वुड द श्रुति मेंशन पुरुषाणाम कर्ता सेपरेट इफ एट ऑल द कर्म word means jagat because karma karta jagat karta will also include purusha karta rather the word karma if it means jagat then jagat includes purusha also so karma na karta jagat karta is also purusha karta why will purusha karta be mentioned separately in the purushanam karta separately in the vakya this is the objection made by the purva pakshi 
So Nanu Purushanam Jagadantar Bhava, the Purushas are part of the Jagat due to that Kartrutum Tat Kartrutum means Purusha Kartrutum Kimiti Prathaguchate. Jagat Kartrutum is sufficient. Why would Shruti say Purusha Kartrutum is also there? That Kartrutum is in which entity? That entity Veditavya should be known. Prutakimuchate. Why will Shruti make such a so meaning what? If at all your interpretation is right, such a uh, restatement would not be made by Shruti. Therefore, karma does not stand for Jagat. Is the Akshepa there really? That is the Swarupa of the Akshepa. Tatpari of the Akshepa. So there the uh, Siddhanti answers. Balakina Brahmatvena Ukta Purushanam Abrahmatva Dyotanaya Gobali Vardhan Nyayena Prutha Guchyateti Dhyayam Siddhanti says that this is as per Gobali Vardhan Nyaya. What is Gobali Vardhan Nyaya? Gobali Vardhan Nyaya is Go means cow or bull also. Go Shabda is common to cows and bulls. In Pullinga it will become a bull and in Sri Linga it is cow. So Go Shabda is common to cows and bulls. But still what is said? Go in Go Bali Vardhan Nyaya, the example given is Sarve Gavaha Agataha, uh, Sarve Gavaha Agataha, Bali Vardhaha Api Agataha. So, if uh, you know some uh, statement is being made as to the cows have, you know, we have this uh, statement in English also, you know, the proverbial statements that you know we can discuss this till the cows come home, meaning what till evening. That's all. There is a samskara from uh, the uh, Sanatana culture. So the cows are let out in the morning. They graze here and there and then they come back in the evening. So in uh, Kannada they call it Godhuli Murta. Murta. So if you don't have a good Murta, Godhuli Murta means when the time when the cows come back home, that's a good Murta. You don't have to look up something. So uh, general Murta if you want, Godhuli Murta is a good Murta. And what is that go dhuli also? When the cows come back home on the you know on the uh, mud roads, the dhuli you know flies up. The mud flies up due to the the feet tapping the loose mud. So that go dhuli, that is go dhuli. That is considered to be auspicious. So that muhurta is also auspicious due to that reason. So this is an aside. So there when the cows come home, had the cows only been let out in the morning or all the bulls were also let out? The bulls were also let out. So when the cows came home, when you say that the Sarve Gavaha Agataha, the bulls are also included. But still, Bali Vardha Api Agata, if there is one bull or multiple bulls, they have also come back, can be the statement. And there, the same Akshepa will apply what Purva Pakshi raised. So, the Siddhanti says that is there such statement possible? There are such statements. People say that the cows have come home, so have the bulls. Basically what? The cattle have come home, so have the bulls. So, the cattle, it may not sound so well in English translation, but we will say that go, all the go have, all the uh, uh, go have come back, which includes the bull, but still the bulls are mentioned separately as well. There is also similar Nyaya. This is the same Nyaya with another uh, word where Parivrajakaha uh, Brahmana Parivrajaka Nyaya. There is also Brahmana Parivrajaka Nyaya. Brahmana Parivrajaka Nyaya. Parivraja is a Sanyasi. Which Sanyasi? Sanyasi Parivrajaka Sanyasa Adhikara is there only for Brahmana. There is also an orthodoxy view that only Brahmanas have eligibility in Sanyasa. Other Varnikas do not have uh, Adhikara in Sanyasa for whatever reason. So there is a discussion uh, uh, in by uh, uh, Shankaracharya and then Bhagavad Padacharya says something, Bhagavan Bhashyakara in Bhashya and then Sureshwaracharya says something uh, seen as something else, has a, having a different view and then the Samanvaya is done by uh, Appaya Dikshit uh, uh, in, the, in his own Grantha. Uh, so, uh, Bhagavan Appaya Dikshita concludes that there is no contradiction. What kind of sannyasa who has adhikara in that is analyzed in, uh, in the context of somebody showing contradiction of Sureshwaracharya's statement with 
भगवत पादाचार्य स्टेटमेंट इन अधिकारा ऑन सन्यासा बट लेट्स जस्ट कंसिडर दैट देर इज अ व्यू दैट कोर ऑर्थोडॉक्सी से अब्राह्मणास डोंट डोंट हैव अधिकार इन सन्यासा दे शुड नॉट टेक टू सन्यासा नाउ लेट टेकिंग दैट व्यू देर इज अ न्याय ब्राह्मण परिव्राज का न्याय और वी कैन ऑल्सो से दैट आउट ऑफ द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ सन्यासा इन वी कैन से दैट परिव्राज सन्यासा परिव्राज का सन्यास अधिकार इज देर ओनली फॉर ब्राह्मण सो इफ यू टेक दैट इन माइंड देन दिस ब्राह्मण परिव्राज का न्याय अप्लाइज विच इज सेम एज दिस गो बलिवर्धन न्याय गो बलिवर्धन न्याय सो देर परिव्राज का ब्राह्मण सच स्टेटमेंट्स आर देर सो वेन यू से परिव्राज का इट मीन ब्राह्मण ऑल्सो सो इफ यू से परिव्राज का ब्राह्मण आगता इट मीन दैट दि सन्यासी जैव का एंड ब्राह्मण जैव ऑल्सो कम बट सन्यासी इज एक्चुअली बिलोंग टू ब्राह्मण वर्ण देर फॉर वॉट परिव्राज का आगता वुड हैव बीन सफिशियंट बट देन टू स्ट्रेस दि पॉइंट ब्राह्मण इज मेन्शन Similarly, is this statement Purushanam karta yasya vaitat karma. So yasya vaitat karma, you are right that in that karma meaning jagat purushas are included, but purushas are also mentioned separately to stress the point. So atirkta brahmana iti ashayena yatha uchchete tatha iha api iha api ashayena uchchete atirkta purushana vachanam tadartham. So it is only to stress the point there as to who oh, do not make the mistake of thinking that this is someone else so there is something added there vishesha is there to stress the point that focus on this purushanam karta so you no scope for misinterpretation thereby what happens nanu purushanam jagantar bhava tatkartrutam kimiti prutag uchyate iti chet na na doshah balakina ब्रह्मत्वेन उक्त पुरुषाणाम अब्रह्मत्व ज्योतनाय गो बलिवर्धन न्यायेन पृथक उच्यते इति ध्येयम सो व्हाट इज सेड दैट व्हाट बालाकी सेड एज ब्रह्म ब्रह्मत्वेन उक्त पुरुषाणाम ही हैज टॉक्ड अबाउट प्राणा इत्यादि आदित्यादि दे आर ऑल पुरुषास दे आर आर जीवास बेसिकली मैनिफेस्ट इन संसार एज देवतास सो दे आर नॉट ब्रह्म अब्रह्मत्वेन ज्योतनाय सो दे आर नॉट ब्रह्म दे आर अब्रह्म हाउ बिकॉज आदित्य आदित्य आदित्यादि और प्राणादि देवता कर्ता यह भवति सह वेदितव्य सो आदित्य प्राण इत्यादि देवताज आर नॉट वेदितव्य बट तेषा कर्ता वेदितव्य दिस इज दि आइडिया देर टू स्ट्रेस दैट पॉइंट वॉट बाला की वॉज टीचिंग वॉज टीचिंग आदित्य एंड प्राणादि देवताज which the ajata shatru king knew he says no move on i know this i know this that is not brahma tesham karta brahma bhavati that is the idea therefore he said purushanam karta yah meaning etesham purushanam these which are these now these are not objectifiable but what aditya prana they have gone by so very close in the sentence also will take etat as pronoun etat karma here this etat is because objectifiable jagat This this is is also etat shashti this etat is not objectifiable close, but it is what close in the sentence that has been stated by Balaki, Adityadi devatas, Pranadi devatas, they were talked about. So etesham devatanam, Balaki ukta devatanam or tadukta devatanam. He says he Balaki etesham tadukta devatanam purushanam yah karta bhavati sah veditavya. therefore balakina brahmatvena ukta purushanam adityadi pranadi devatanam abrahmatva dyutanay they are not brahma their karta is brahma therefore go balivardhan nyayena prathaguchyate iti dhyaya so this is the sutra i'll just in this context i said i'll mention something so the brahmana says that you take me as your shishya now ajata shatru is a kshatriya and the and balaki is a brahmana so th- this is also considered as a pramana for varna by jati meaning janma there are many opinions uh, modern moderners opinions or those who want to be socially and politically correct that varna is not by janma it is by karma those people miss or misinterpret for whatever reasons to be politically correct they misinterpret that the janma is by karma they do not go beyond that point of saying that 
varna is by karma not by janma but the janma itself is by karma so how can janma uh, varna not be by janma varna is by janma because varna being by janma janma is by karma so when you say varna is by karma it is not this karma that is going on right now varna is by purva 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 janma karma because of that janma is also due to karma and for this somebody who is interested can look up uh, the uh, you know the refutation of such kind of a view that uh, varna is by karma meaning this karma right now you can see the refutation of uh, the bhagwan puri maharaj so the puri shankaracharya has refuted this he gives a simple example look at a uh, you know uh, mother at home who is taking care of the family so look at a uh, grihastha stri who is taking care of her family she is taking care of her husband she is taking care of her child she is taking care of the house she is cooking she is uh, uh, basically a homemaker she is taking care of the uh, uh, the elders there and also of herself now in the so many roles that is she is playing how many varnas she will undergo during the entire day you analyze that and see whether this kind of a nonsensical statement that varna is by karma makes sense current karma it will not otherwise her varna will keep on changing because when she is uh, uh, changing the diapers of the kids she will become a shudra and when she is cooking and uh, participating in the, her husband's agnihotra ityadi or you know vaidika karma she will become a brahmana when she is you know keeping accounts of uh, money then she will become a vaishya ityadi so these kind of things will and when she is protecting her child also she will become kshatriya is that really true as roles okay you can use such kind of a um, you know you can use such kind of a praise or you know that oh look at the kshatriyatvam in this three all that is fine but then it will not change the varna because varna is by janma this is an aside just to stress on the point because we have so many misinterpretations i i found an occasion to mention this because one acharya while teaching this mentioned this i thought it is my dharma to you know hand it over to the others as well so uh, that's one thing and then another thing there how is it a pramana now for varna because uh, the ajata shatru varna by janma ajata shatru does not take the brahmana as a disciple because brahmana should not approach the kshatriya adi as acharya as guru should not take a guru so the, the brahmana case says that you take me as a shishya but the ajata shatru knows is wiser meaning because he knows dharma shastra the brahmana what who has does not know all entire dharma so as a kid with that bhava he says you take me as a shishya but then without taking you as a shishya because there is no shishya kind of an initiation there he teaches without taking you as a shishya so teaching learning can be done from a non brahmana by a brahmana but namaskara adi such thing should not be done by the brahmana varna so this is sampradaya this is just an aside again but in the context now the purva pakshi says because there is no uh, sangati here why because this has already been refuted in the earlier adhikaranas in this very chapter jeeva mukhya pranalinga ne iti che tad vyakhyatam jeeva mukhya pranalinga ne iti che tad vyakhyatam so purva pakshi says what about this prana jeeva all these are mukhya meanings there prajnatma atma word means jeeva and prana is also talked about there और प्राण सेव संभव ही ऑल्सो सेज दट कर्म ऑल्सो कैन स्टील मीन चलनात्म कर्म इन मेनी दर्शन फॉर मेनी पीपल इट कैन बी चलनात्म कर्म एंड देर फॉर प्राण कैन बी दीनिंग और सो प्राण इज दी मुख्य मीनिंग देर हाउ डू यू कॉम्प्रोमाइज सच मीनिंग्स हाउ डू वाई डू डायल्यूटेड सो देर इफ ब्रह्म इज नॉट उपास्य और ब्रह्म इज ऑल्सो उपास्य but prana is upasya jeeva is upasya such kind of a claim is made then what about that siddhanti says we have already answered it where have we answered it we have said no pa no pasa trai vidya ashri tattva diha tad yoga so you have seen this sutra where there will be vakya bheda your upasana is it parmatma upasana jeeva upasana or mukhya prana prana upasana mukhya prana is इन दि पंच प्राण मुख्य प्राण इज प्राण देवता प्राण देवता उपासना 
पूर्व पक्षी सेज नो इट कैन बी जीव एंड प्राण उपासना एंड इट कैन ऑल्सो बी परमात्मा उपासना इफ यू से सो बट यू कैनॉट से दैट इट इज नॉट प्राण उपासना इट इज नॉट जीव उपासना देन वॉट विल हैपन इज द सिंगल सेक्शन सिंगल वाक्य विल हैव टॉट जीव उपासना प्राण उपासना एंड परमात्मा उपासना दिल बे वाक्य भेदा देर फॉर चेत तद व्याख्यात इफ एट ऑल यू से जीव एंड मुख्य प्राण लिंगा इज देर एंड ड्यू टू दैट जीव मुख्य प्राण लिंगात न न मीन्स वॉट न न जगत्कर्ता ब्रह्म इति चेत तद व्याख्यात सो फर्गेट अबाउट न ब्रह्म इज नॉट हैविंग समन्वय बट Your पूर्व पक्षी इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ वन वाक्य लीडिंग टू थ्री उपासना और टू उपासना ऑल्सो इज अ वाक्य भेद यू कैनॉट हैव सच दोषा इन दी श्रुति जीव मुख्य प्राणलिंगा न री जीव मुख्य प्राणलिंगा च न ब्रह्म पर दिस च हेज बीन एडेड दिस च दैट यू हैव हियर च एक व्याख्यात दिस च हेज बीन एडेड हियर आफ्टर जीव मुख्य प्राणलिंगा हियर न वॉज देर दिस च हेज बीन एडेड हियर therefore you have jeeva mukhya prana linga ch no it has been taken out and instead of the ch later the no has been stated later here so there is a shuffling done of words so jeeva mukhya prana linga ch no brahma paratva avadharanam iti chet meaning there is no samanvaya of karanatva of jagat in brahma if at all you say that tad vyakhyatam this has already been answered elaborately in the earlier adhikaranas प्रतर्दनाधिकरणे वेर इन प्रतर्दनाधिकरण वेर इंद्र टीचेस दिस प्रतर्दन हू गोस टू इंद्र लोका समहाउ ही रीचेस इंद्र लोका एंड ही आस्ट टू फाइट एंड ऑल दैट वी हैव सीन दैट सो देर इंद्र टीचेस एंड देन द टीचिंग इज व्हाट यू शुड नो मी सो ही सेज दैट नो मी सो देर दी पूर्व पक्षी एड सेड दैट इफ ही सेज नो मी देन इंद्र इज अ जीव सो नो जीव सो जीव उपासना इज देर and the prana also has been taught prana upasana is there if you say paramatma is the uh, vivaksha there when he says i no me in this way meaning jagat karana or no me as prana no me as uh, uh, whatever uh, dharmas have been taught with having such kind of a of dharmas not having papa ityadi all those will point to paramatma then paramatma upasana is there i agree says the puro pakshi then what will happen no उपास त्रैविद्या थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ उपासना इन अ सिंगल वाक्य इज अ वाक्य दोषा देफ आशीर्त इह तद्योग इह तद्योगा सूत्रे सूत्रे वी एड सीन दिस इन प्रतर्दने प्रतर्दनाधिकरण वी एड सीन द रेफ्यूटेशन सो प्रतर्दन विचारे कर्म पद से अविचारा गतार्थता द्रष्टव्य बट दिस कर्म पद वॉज नॉट डिस्कस देर देर फॉर दि गतार्थता इन जगत वाचित सूत्र दिस कर्म पद वॉज डिस्कस्ड that was not discussed earlier therefore such refutation has come up in this sutra but you cannot hijack it back to something which has already been refuted as to multiple uh, uh, upasyas are there kincha further what anyarthantu jaiminihi prashna vyakhyana abhyam api chayomi we will look at this sutra in the next patha uh, i'll not repeat this uh, sutra second time we will see it in the next patha already overshot the time i didn't see uh, Yeah, so this uh, continues. This is the last sutra in the same adhikarana. Then there is another adhikarana that follows. Amna yanti ka samsiddham adi madhyanta varjetam ananda ghanam apurnam atma jyoti rupasme he. So namaste. I'll see you in the next part. Ha. Thanya vada. Yeah, namaste. Namaste.